Welcome to this session of Long Cane Middle School's Grassroots Technology Training on wikis, maintaining them, and using them to maximum effect in your classroom. I've used a wiki extensively in my classroom this year and it's made all my students' projects less stressful and more enjoyable. Students have saved their finished and unfinished projects in specific folders on the wiki so all members of the project team have access to the project from home or school. Additionally, we have used the posted projects for peer and teacher editing and for final evaluation and grading. This was easily accomplished through the user settings and access controls built right into the wiki. There are many wiki sites available on the web to build your own wiki, but only two wiki sites meet the teacher factors. It must be free, must have fast or quick access, and it must be flexible. We'll be looking at PBWiki and wiki spaces and in detail we'll be looking at building your own wiki on wikispaces.com Under Wikis for Everyone, you will see in the third paragraph blue text that reads, Create your own classroom wiki today. Click the text. It is a hyperlink. Scroll down to the blue box that reads, Join Now. Enter a username, a password, and an email address. I generally use my school address. In number five, enter a name for your wiki. Use a name that you, your students, and their parents will remember. My wiki is Panda Points. Then select Private free for educators. Check the box by number seven and click join at the bottom. You now have a pop-up entitled Getting Started with Your Wiki. This is part of the help that's provided by Wikispaces and is always available to you. For the remainder of this tutorial, we want to accomplish six things. One, we want to add some basic content to your homepage, such as an introduction and a title. Two, we want to place an email link on your homepage. Three, we want to put an RSS news feed on your homepage. Four, we're going to place a homework section on your homepage, a table that is easily editable. Number five, we're going to create a discussion page that you can direct your students to after they read the news feed. And finally, we're going to set access for a user. And, and I'll show you how to do that so that your students can have access and so you can control how much access they have to the wiki. Now click the X in the upper right hand corner of the pop-up to close the pop-up. Now click the green edit tab on the upper right side of the page. This tab is indicated in this movie by a red arrow. You will have to select edit anytime you edit, add, or delete content from one of your wiki pages. First, let's add a title to our home page. This works very much like a Microsoft Word document. If you start typing, the highlighted text will disappear. Let's enter the name of our wiki, just like you would type it if you were typing in a Word document. Above where you just typed is the word normal with a drop down arrow beside it. Click the arrow and select heading 1. This will enlarge your text and also make it bold. Holding down the left mouse button, use your cursor to highlight your text. Now if you look next to heading 1 above your text is a capital T with a color palette. Click the T. This pop-up window you now see allows you to select a font, the overall size of your text, a background color for your text, and the alignment of your text. As you can see in this image, I have selected Comic Sans 200% blue text, an orange background, and center alignment. Once you have made your selections, click Apply Styles at the bottom of the pop-up window. And here is the result of my selections for my text. Under the word Editor at the top of your wiki is a small icon that looks like a picture. Click it. This pop-up has three tabs. Click on the Upload Files tab. Click on the Browse button and locate your image on your computer's hard drive. Once you have found your file, click Upload and follow the directions on the pop-up window. You should now see your image. Click your image and the image properties pop-up will appear. Now click on the external link tab. Now click the drop-down arrow next to the word address and select email. 
In the window to the right, now enter your email address and click the Add Link button. Your image is now a hyperlink for email. If you'd like to center the email image, click the image once, click the arrow beside alignment, and select Center. And now your image is centered. First, you need to locate a web news page you would like for your students to reference, and be sure it offers a real-time subscriber service, or RSS. Let's take a look at www.sciencenews.org, and you will notice on the picture displayed, you can see the RSS letters and the little symbol indicating an RSS feed. If you look at the top of your wiki, there is a white editor bar. Below the word editor on this bar is a TV icon. Click it once. On the left side of the pop-up window, click RSS feed. Now in the blank next to the words feed URL, type the following HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.sciencenews altogether no space dot org. Below this, you are able to select the number of entries or headlines that will appear on your wiki page. Let's leave that at 10. Now at the bottom of this pop-up window, let's click Embed SS RSS Feed. Now click Save on the Editor Toolbar at the top. This is how visitors will see your wiki. What visitors? Let's invite someone to join our wiki. Click Manage Wiki on the upper left hand side of the wiki. On the Members page, go to the Invite a New Member section at the bottom of the page and enter an email to invite someone to join your wiki and then click Invite. This next slide shows my Wikispaces account name as a pending member request because I have a Wikispaces account. Otherwise, my email address would appear here. Once someone accepts the invitation to join your wiki, they will show up as a member on the wiki in the members page. As you can see, I have shown up as a member on this wiki. Now we want to look at the permission levels that we have set for our wiki and how to manage those permission levels. Click on Manage Wiki in the upper left hand corner on the members page. Now click on the permissions button to view the permissions options for your wiki. You'll notice from the wiki permissions page that you are only allowed to set permissions for all members of the wiki and not for individual members. If you're interested in being able to set permissions for individual members, I would recommend you use pbwiki.com and I'll show you an example of the permissions page from pbwiki.com. Wouldn't you like for your students to be able to discuss those wonderful news articles coming in via the RSS feed? Or you could just pose a story question or poem to start a discussion. Click the discussion tab at the top of your page. Give it a subject, pose your question, click post in the lower right hand corner. This is how a posted message appears on the discussion board. Our last task is to provide a page for students and parents to view homework assignments and assigned projects. Click new page on the left upper hand side of your wiki. Click the table icon on the editor toolbar at the top of the page. You'll see a pop-up now that says table, insert table. Let's start with four columns and ten rows. Once you've made that change, click insert table and now you will see your table, kind of faint, but you can enter the headings in the top of the columns of your table. If you wish to add rows or columns, click a cell and a table icon appears. Click this icon and follow the directions. Now, Click Save either in the upper right or lower right side of your wiki and now you see what your table will look like after you've entered your headings and saved it. Don't go changing to try and please me. Anytime you want to edit a page in your wiki or add homework or assignments to your homework and assignments table, just select the tab for that page, click the edit button in the upper right hand corner on that page and edit using the steps that we've learned in this tutorial. Well my friends that's the basics. Um, I forgot something. What's the address for your wiki? In the extreme upper left hand corner of your wiki is your wiki name. This wiki's name is Nina School, no spaces. Therefore the wiki address is nina school dot wikispaces dot com. 
where mine has nine a school, you would just insert the name of your wiki dot wikispaces dot com. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling.